When the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost, so many people there, the vice of our nation was there at Jerusalem. And when they were traveling out, the word of God said, man was confounded because they hear them speak in their own language where they were born. And said, these men are drunk or full of new wine. Peter stand up. He said, these are not drunk and as you suppose. See, but the third hour of the day, but this is that which was spoken by Joel the prophet. It shall come to pass in the last day, said God. I pour my spirit upon all of us. Your son and daughter shall prophesy. The old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. And when they will prick in their heart, they crowd. Man, I pray, what shall we do? Peter said to them, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a name that Jesus said to them, baptize them in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. When Jesus came here in St. John 5, 43, he said, I am come in my Father's name. Yes. Somebody says, so you don't believe in the the Father, yeah. The Father is the Spirit. But the Spirit made the body. Speak the word. And the body came. Glory to God in the womb. Many don't understand about the word. The word wasn't flesh and blood. The word was spoken. Glory to God. The Spirit came upon her. After the word was spoken, the Spirit came upon her. And the baby was found in the womb. Glory to God Almighty. He got a name from heaven. The name of his father. The Bible said which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Glory to God Almighty. God made a body to dwell. The Bible said God made it not in a building made with hand. So he made a body called the body son of man, son of God to dwell in. And I want to show you that all the title that young man, that body be here all the time. Glory to God. You believe the word of God? People of God? Do you believe the word of God? Alright, we're going to start. We're going to ask the Williams to read for me. Praise God. We're going. Praise God. In Isaiah 9, and we're going to start with the sixth verse. This was the coming of the Son of God. Praise God. Isaiah, the eagle eyed prophet, seat of far off. Glory to God, the four men was born. Isaiah, look, and same coming. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Praise God. He was the deliverer that should deliver. Oh, praise the Lord. Isaiah saw him coming. And what Isaiah said? For unto us. For unto us. A child is born. A child is born. And to us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. And the government. And the government. Shall be upon his shoulder. Shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty God. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. And how some people say not the mighty God. How people say, oh, Jesus is not God. Mm. How some people say not the Father. When I say I look through the eye before it came to pass. Before glory to God, he was born. Before man was born, Isaiah looked at his coming into the world. And Isaiah said, For unto us a child is born. The same child, glory to God, was born in Bethlehem of Judah. Oh, praise God. According to the scripture, behold, a virgin shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which by God is with us. The Emmanuel God is with us. Oh, praise the Lord. What is he? Right to us. Right to us. A child is born. A child is born. Right to us, a son is 
a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god the mighty god the everlasting father the everlasting father the prince of peace and the prince of peace so many different titles glory yes. to god it take on praise the lord I say, show you, glory to God and man. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. For you to understand the scripture, the Holy Ghost have to open your understanding. Glory to God and man. Come on. Give me St. John chapter 1. I want to open the word. That whosoever hear this message today, glory to God, will understand that Jesus Christ, He is the Holy Ghost, He is the Son of God, He is God. The Son of God is risen from the dead, ascended up into heaven. The Son of God coming back. The Son of God coming to pay every man according as the works of me. And after that, then you're going to deliver up the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The body. Glory to God. Do you know that the body of Jesus was the kingdom of God came? Do you know that the body of Jesus was the kingdom of God came? He said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, and which is in heaven. When he finished, no way to God in heaven. Anytime he came back, no way to God, he's going to deliver up the kingdom up to the Father. And then it'll be God complete. All in all. No other body but the Father. God made one body. And this is what the scripture says. For God so loved the world that he gave it only. The only body that God made to play. But praise the Lord. It was that body. No way to God and man. No man has ever seen God at any time. You never see God at no time. Who do you see? The only begotten. The scripture said, the only begotten who is in the bosom of the Father. What do you call the bosom? The bosom is not holy in your heart. So no. The present. He was in the present of the Father. And that is why when the disciples said, show us the Father. And it suffices. He said, have I been so long time with you? And yet you don't know. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. You ever see God at any time without Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, the only one. The Bible says the express image of God. Oh, praise the Lord. Express image of God. St. John 1. 1. In the beginning was the word. There's the word. say that. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Alright, brother, look into this. In the beginning was the spoken word. Not flesh and blood. How? Look in Genesis 1. Hold that scripture and give it Genesis 1. Oh, praise the Lord. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. Genesis 1, verse. second verse. And the earth was without form. And the earth was without form. And void. And void. And darkness was, darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God. Look, look at the word now. And the Spirit of God moved upon, moved the, face upon the face of the water. The and God said. You see what move upon the face of the water? And you see how God going to form out the word now. And the Spirit said, which is God said, and God said, let there be light. Let there be light. There was light. And there was light. The spoken word bring the thing into me. That must be God. But praise the Lord. There was no body there. It was a spoken word of God. The Spirit glory to God, which is God, move upon the face of the earth. And God said, let them in and light appear. 
God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light. And God saw that the light was good. That it was good. And God, God divide light. Divide, divide. God divide. Divide from the darkness. Glory to God, man. God divide the light from the darkness. Glory to God of might. God put the first divide. Divide the light from the darkness. Come on. And God called the light day. And God called the light day. And the darkness God called that. Call That's why the word of God said we are children of the day and not children of the night. So if you are children of the day, you should see. If you're children of the day, your eyes should be open. You shouldn't walk and close your eyes. No. You should see what is there. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Oh, listen. Look, in Genesis, it's so hard the thing that God made. John 1, go back to St. John 1 and see. Oh, praise God. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. And the word was and the God. word was God. Glory to God and God. The word was God. So if somebody look at Jesus as the word, you must look at Jesus as God. Glory to God and night. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. What the Bible says about things that made him. All things were made by him. Everything. Everything was made by the word. By God. God speak the word and the king. Go oh, praise the Lord. At that time, where was the Son of God? Hey, hallelujah. Huh? The Bible never talk about the Son of God. No. It was a big time. Why? Because the manifestation of the Son of God was here come. Was in time. Oh, praise the Lord. So it's so how God created the thing. By speak the word. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. By speak the word. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the knee. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. The word. Somebody look at when they read the Bible, they look at it and say, the sheep, the sheep, the Son of God was there from the beginning and from everything. The Bible said it was God from everything by speaking. Amen. Amen. You know why they mixed up? Huh? Because God speak the word and the Son of God came. He said the word was made flesh because he speak the word and the Son of God came. Go oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God and man. Go on. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. And without him. And without him was not anything made that, that was, was made. In him was life. In him was life. And, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended. Darkness comprehended. God darkness can't stop the light. No. Every time the light step in darkness is appear. Glory to God and man. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on, read on. There was a man. There was a man sent from God whose name, whose was, name John. was John. The same came for witness to bear witness of the light. That all men, that all men through him. him might believe. John said he was not that light. John wasn't the light. He was not that light. Oh, praise the Lord. It was said to be a witness of the light. You know the reason why? Glory to God. It was said that, glory to God, he got to say the prophet Isaiah before the coming of the Messiah. So John came, glory to God, as a witness that when the Messiah stepped out, he could say, that is he. Glory to God Almighty. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory to God. That's what is he. He was not the man was sent to be a witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Hear what the word said. The same came for a witness. The same came for a witness. To be a witness, to of, be the a light, witness of the light. That all men through him. That all men through him might believe. Might believe. He was not that light. He was not that light. But was sent to be a witness. But was sent to be a witness of, of 
have the light. That the was the true light. That was a true light. Which lighted every man. Which lighted every man. That come into the world. That come into the world. Look at the light now. Amen. Look at it. Glory to God. The 14th verse. Look on the 14th verse. And the word was made flesh. Glory to God. And the word. Was made flesh. The same spoken word. <coughs> was made flesh. And dwell among us. And dwell among us. And we beheld. We beheld his glory. The glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Full of the same spoken word that's in the light. Same word. The same word. God speak. Glory to God. When God said Gabriel to Mary, I say, huh? Don't have a favor among whom? And, and said, you're going to conceive and be a son and call his name Jesus. Mary said, how can this thing be seen that I know of? Not a man. I don't know God. How can this thing be? He said, ah, the power of the high shall come upon you. And what is conceiving her in you shall be called the Son of God. The Son of the Highest. Oh, praise God. Somebody said, oh, oh, you see? You see? So it is different. God is not a man. God is a spirit. So the same spirit which is God came upon her. She can see. Glory to God. He made the body to redeem mankind. Oh, praise the Lord. He made the body to redeem mankind. Why? Nobody could see God. Nobody could touch God. Nobody could kill God. So he made a body. Glory to God and might. And look how he called the body. Son of man, son of God. Oh, praise the Lord. And that's why if a man says the Son of God is not in heaven, he don't understand the scripture. Because the body that God made to dwell in is dead. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God and man. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. And the record is in heaven. How the record is there? Give me, praise God, first of this chapter of the Bible. First? Go down to about the six or seven verse. First of this John. Chapter 5. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. The word of God shall. But there are three. And when they say the word three, they want to separate the word, the Holy Ghost, and God. First John 5 and 7. That's right. Come on. For there are three that be a record. Look, yeah. in, look in the scripture now. Look in the scripture. These are what men try to do to separate the three. Because they see there's three that be a record in heaven. What is it? The Father. The Father. The Word. The Word. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. All right. And these three are one. Look at me now, brothers and sisters. I am just one body. Glory to God. I speak the thing and it happens. This is how you see God. One body, God speak the word. The Holy Ghost operate. Three to be a record in heaven. Three. And these three are one. You don't have no father sitting down here. The son sitting down here. And the Holy Ghost here now. Go ye therefore and 
teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Singular. Send you right back to this show. There are three that bear a card in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. You know why he called the Word there in Matthew 28? The, the Son. Because the Word was spoken and the Son came into me. When the Son came, he came with the name of God. Glory to God Almighty. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, read up. There are three. For there are three that they record in heaven. You notice how it's stated three? So if a man not understand, the man looking, oh, this is the seat of the Father, this is the seat of the Son, and this is the seat of the Holy Ghost. But when you go back here, you say, so how would this one could be? Where the children look alike? So how did the name come now? How did the name come? Well, uh, 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 and he's trying to find a name for God. And he's trying to find a name for the Holy Ghost. They have the name of Jesus. Because he was the one that made the name here. But he tell them plainly, I will leave you comfortless. I will send you another comforter in my name. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you to all truth. Glory to God Almighty. The word is truth. The spirit is truth. Glory to God Almighty. The spirit can't die from the word. No. No. Oh, praise the Lord. You have one God. Give me Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Praise God. Look from about the fourth verse. You can read from the third verse. Ephesians chapter 4. You find read. Verse 3. Come on. Endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. Alright, the spirit bring a unity. Endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. In the bond of peace. In the bond of peace. There is one body. How much body? One body. How much? One body. Glory to God and man. So how people want to put God in one and put Jesus in one? Do you know that the one body is the church? Glory to God and man. The body of Christ in the church. Praise the Lord. But you have many members, but one body. I know he said there is one body. One spirit. And one spirit. As you are called. Even as you are called. In one hope of your calling. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. No, one Lord. Look, at, look into this. Somebody say, hey, give a look what David said. The Lord said to my Lord, sit thou on my right hand till I make that end when I first All right? The Lord said to my Lord, sit thou on my right hand till I make that end when I first soon. The Spirit said to the Son, You just sit at my right hand. Right hand in authority, Lord. Sit at my right hand. Sit there. Now in the God in mind, sit there. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Now in the God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. You don't finish. You don't finish the feet. You hold the feet. First. Corinthians chapter 15. Read from the 21st verse. First verse. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. 21st. Read from there. For since by man. For since by man. Come dead. Come dead. By man cometh also the resurrection of the dead. By man come also the resurrection of the dead. For as Adam, for as in Adam, all die, all die. Even so in Christ. So this is the reason why. Be made alive. This is the reason why the body came now. The body of Jesus came. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Listen what he said. But every man, 
Every man is in order. Christ, the great first, first fruit of the war day that are Christ. That's right. As he is coming. At his coming. Then come at the hand. Then look at me now. I want you to look into the word keep me now. Then come at the end. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom. Of when God. he shall have delivered up the kingdom. Of God. Of God. Even the Father. To the Father. The kingdom of God. To the Father. Is that what you see there? Kingdom of God to the kingdom of God, even the Father. Even the Father, all right. When he shall have put down all rule. Here when? When he shall have put down, put down all rule. And all authority. And all authority. Come on. And power. And power. For he must reign. All right, this is why the Son of God is in heaven. Praise God, and nobody can say the Son of God is not there. He's there, for he must reign. Till he had put all enemies. Till he had put all enemies. Under his feet. Under his feet. The last enemy. The last enemy. That shall be destroyed. That shall be destroyed in death. With everybody doubt. <coughs> everybody doubt. Glory to God. He's going to reign until everybody knows. Why? He has to return to be every man according as the works of me. Glory to God Almighty. He must reign. He must reign. Glory to God. Read the scripture. And when all things shall be subdued unto him. And look in it. And when all things shall be subdued unto him. Shall be subdued unto him. Then shall the Son also himself. Then shall the Son himself. Be subject unto him that put all things under him. All right now. That God may be all in, in all. all. In the one body. The body. How did God the Son? God the Son bit himself to the Spirit. The Spirit take over the whole body. Oh, no God Almighty! No more son, God Almighty! Huh? No, no more son! Glory to God! He not going to say the Son and the Holy Ghost. God is all in all, wrapped up in the body that He made. Glory to God Almighty! Why? God need a body to dwell in. He won't take a body. He won't take a place that be with Him. Praise the Lord. But he make a body to dwell in. And he called the body son of man, son of God. And somebody don't know. Somebody says to the God. Somebody says, you have God the Father, sit on the left side. And God the Son, sit on the right hand. Because he said, sit down on my right hand till I make that enemy thy foot too. But right hand with God doesn't mean right hand. And natural hand, no. Right hand mean power and authority. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah to God. Give me Hebrew chapter 1. Begin at the very first verse. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. The Bible speak of the Father and it speak of the Son. And if you don't understand, you're going to different shape them in two bodies. Put them in two bodies. But it's one. Now I say, God, what sons I time. And in diverse manners. And in diverse manners. Spake in times. Spake in time past. Unto the Father. Unto the Father. By the prophets. By the prophets. And in his last days. You see how God speak in time past? In his last days. You see how God speak in time past? To the Father by the prophet. 